Dear brothers and sisters, on the 21st of December 2020, the so-called Star of Bethlehem appeared in the sky. It has been not seen for over 800 years. Actually, the astronomers said that what appeared above the Earth was the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. It could have been the same phenomena the wise man from today's Gospel saw 2000 years ago. They were inspired by God that it was a sign which will lead them to the infant King of the Jews. During their journey they met King Herod and told him about the sign and desire to meet a newborn king. They said, we saw his star as it rose and have come to do him homage. Later, when they found Jesus, they offered him the most precious gifts they possessed, gold, frankincense and myrrh. As pagans, they might not have been aware that the Old Testament foretold the coming of a savior who would establish a new kind of kingdom. For example, the prophet Micah wrote that a savior would be born in Bethlehem. The prophet Isaiah wrote this, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel. Psalm 71, which we read today, announces that every nation on earth will adore the Lord and that the kings will bring him gifts, prostrating before him and serving him. In today's second reading, St. Paul wrote that now even pagans share in the same inheritance as Jews and that the same promise has been made to them in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. Traditionally, we recognize three wise men as pagans who were open to a spiritual reality. Eighth century tradition gives them the following names, Melchia, Caspar and Balthazar. To this day, after Christmas, Catholics from many European countries invite a priest to bless their homes and to pray with them. Afterwards, the priest arrives on the main door of their house initials of those three men, M, C and B. These initials are supposed to help families to remember that even though three men initially didn't believe in God, they were granted a liberating gift of faith, love and freedom after honoring Jesus. In contrast, King Herod closed his heart to baby Jesus, wanting to kill him. He preferred to stay in darkness and slavery of sin, losing an opportunity to live with God forever. Dear friends, let us pay homage to the one who himself honors us and loves us and who expects that we too will be faithful to him, obeying his will. He showed us how to do it by the example of his own life. He was obedient to his father until death on the cross for our salvation. Let us present to him the gifts of our faith, hope and love, no matter what we are going through at this moment. The word epiphany means the appearance or manifestation. As Jesus revealed himself to all the nations of the world as Saviour, let us courageously share our faith with those around us, revealing to them our commitment to the Lord and His Church.